All right, let's get into this pretty cool flipped classroom where we've got, um, we're starting our application. We've got this thing called a four image fragment and we've got these four images. So title checks out. Um, and uh, all the images have a, a, a label, a little label. And we can click the image and it takes us into this immersive mode. Oh, the trees, the trees, <laughs> they speak to me. Um, and if you click anywhere uh, in the image, it takes you out of the immersive mode. Okay, so that's sort of the basic idea. And then uh, we have this gear icon up here and you can see the settings fragment. We can go from settings uh, back. We can use the back button on the, uh, on the phone. We can also use the up, up button in the toolbar. You also notice that the gear icon disappears. Okay, so we got two things. We got a switch here. We can turn off a immersive mode. And then when we come back and we click on this, it sort of looks the same. I don't know if you can see, if you can figure out what's different. And you know, we can click our way <clears throat> out of immersive mode, but the thing that has changed is that we have the toolbar is present during immersive mode. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do this because I don't know. Yeah, no, that does work. Uh, yeah, then you can't get back. Anyway, um, all right, so it's immersive mode. Um, that's the uh, settings. That's a, um, a switch. And then this is a spinner. Um, and it's a spinner that only has two options, which uh, you don't really need a spinner for, but I just wanted to provide you guys a spinner and it's got custom text. So in this sense, it's a little bit more of a demo than a flip classroom, but I just wanted to show it to you. So uh, we've... Um, gotten rid of immersive mode and, and we've, uh, so this is not the default and we've, uh, changed the labels to false and we come back here and you can't see the labels and, uh, you know, we're not in immersive mode. Let's turn immersive mode on and go back and, and that's, that's the whole thing. Okay. So it's basically about, um, uh, moving from, uh, one set of, uh, one fragment to another. We're moving from, this is the one image fragment, this is the four image fragment, sorry, this is the one image fragment, and then this is the settings fragment. So we have three fragments. Okay, let's take a, a little bit of look uh, at the code in terms of what's going on. Um, uh, actually, first, let's, uh, th there are a bunch of layouts uh, over here um, that, you know, you can go through um, on your own, and then there's this nav navigation graph and you're going to have to add an action to the navigation graph. So be aware of what's going on over there. And then we haven't seen this before. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but there's, uh, you can create this assets um, directory, which is how you can put uh, files that you want as part of your uh, application into the, the packaging. And so we have these JPEGs in this assets directory and, uh, you know, we, we access them, but I provide all that code. It's just, just so you know what's going on. All right, so uh, we've got main activity and uh, just a couple of things uh, to point out here. We've got the, the sort of standard thing we're doing with this binding. Uh, we've got this bitmap, uh, which is a list of bitmaps and it's a, a public variable. And in fact, it is accessed outside the activity. And we're starting to see when we have activity and fragments, one of the things that's nice is we can sort of share information more easily between the fragments. And here, what we're doing is we're defining this companion object and we're putting a, a bunch of boolean, a couple of booleans in there. And all of the fragments can access these booleans. So that's nice. And this uh, is gonna set, set the path for view models, which is like, you know, sort of this programming pattern, but, but done even better with more support from Android. So uh, this is our main activity or main activity as state that's available to the fragments. And then I provide you this code, this hide bars and show bars, which you know does this sort of immersive mode stuff. And this immersive mode toggle sort of controls whether we, we go through this stuff. And uh, you know I, I got this code from, uh, um, I think it was an Android, 
it was an Android demo uh, uh, that I got this code from. Um, okay, and then if you know, if, but if the immersive mode toggle is off, uh, we don't use it. And there's there's some stuff um, about the menu. Uh, we're controlling the menu, and uh, you're going to have to add some code in there. Uh, the one image fragment. Um, you know, it has um, a lot of the same things that you've come to expect in a fragment, um, although this, this args uh, object is, is new, and that's um, a safe way to pass arguments to a fragment, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty sweet, um, and it finds out about the args from the navigation graph. And then here in this on view created, one of the things that we're doing is we're grabbing a uh, reference to the main activity and calling hide bars on it. Um, and we can't make this uh, a companion object method because uh, hide bars requires things that the actual object has that the class object does not have access to. Um, okay, so um, yeah, and that's that's basically the deal. And then, I, you know, I just wanted to show this to you. I mean, this we provide this code, but, you know, you come into OnView Create. Um, you hide the bars, which if you're in immer if you're not in immersive mode, does nothing. But if you're in immersive mode, it actually hides the bars. And then when you click the image, um, it will show the bars again if you're in immersive mode. And if, you, if you're not, the, the bars are still there. And then this is how we exit. And it's um, uh, we get the uh, navigation controller and we call pop back stack. And I explained this a little bit in the PDF. This is a uh, way to basically call finish from within a fragment. Um, uh, yeah, there, you know, finish was how we ended an activity. Popping the back stack is how we end a fragment. And what that does is it actually sort of restores the fragment that was underneath it, which in this case is going to be the four image fragment. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the four image fragment because you have to write a bunch of that code. I'll show you the settings fragment. Um, the settings fragment, you don't have to write that much of, but I, I do, you know, I sort of uh, go into the spinner thing. And again, I'm grabbing a reference to the main activity and I'm sort of showing you how to uh, do a custom spinner. And I, you have to do the sort of array adapter thing. And, you know, you, you give the, the string values in here. And then there's some code you have to write uh, down here. Here I'm um, uh, checking that Boolean that's stored in the companion activity of main companion object of main activity. Okay. Okay. Um, so, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's fun and it introduces you to a whole bunch of, um, layout elements and dynamics, uh, app dynamics that we're going to be using, uh, for the rest of the semester. So enjoy. Mm -hmm.